Welcome everybody, college basketball underdog value ticket. This is the show we do every day with Ross Benjamin. Uh, Ross, bounce back night tonight. We got two games on slate that you like and uh, I can't argue either of them. Arkansas going to Florida, they're getting nine points and these are two teams that typically play each other very, very tight. So this is a large spread. I know Florida's had some success as of late with their offense and their defense has been stellar in shutting down opponents. But but Arkansas brings it when they get together. So if you will, break down some of the facts with Arkansas getting the points and why that might be the underdog uh, ticket to cash tonight, Ross. Well, you know, you're looking at a Razorback team that's uh, won five of their last eight and they've covered in seven of those eight contests. Here's the key as I see it, Mike. Arkansas has forced 48 turnovers the last three games. Florida, on the other hand, as well as they've played offensively as, in terms of shooting the ball, and as, as well as they played defensively, still they have a flaw in which they've turned the ball over 13 times or more in each of their last six games. So I think that Arkansas's pressure defense can create Florida a lot of issues in this contest. In addition, this is a Florida team that shoots only 63% from the free throw line. And as we've witnessed on many occasions in college basketball, Mike, when you have a line like this, uh, plus nine, uh, oftentimes when a team like Arkansas, who may be behind late in the game and is forced to foul, could put a Florida team on a line that's one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the country. And then the other factor is Arkansas shoots over 42% from the three-point line this season. That's a great equalizer. When you're talking about an underdog, Florida coming off a huge upset win over West Virginia, defeating the nationally ranked Mountaineers by 17. They have Kentucky on deck. This all sets up nicely for the underdog, in my opinion. I'm going to take the Arkansas Razorbacks here, plus to nine over Florida. I like the spot. I like it a lot. And last year, Arkansas went to Florida. That was a tight game. They lost by one. So again, typically they play each other strong. And I was going to touch also on the three-point shooting from Arkansas. I mean, that's an absolute outrageous number and it's consistent. And also a fact that you stepped on there and, and brought to the light was Florida's foul shooting. It is. It's They're one of the worst teams. And I scratch my head, still don't understand that. But that coupled with the way that they're turning the ball over, uh, particularly uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, he, he tends to turn it over a lot in big games. So I don't know. I, I like this. I think Florida might be even taking this game a little lightly considering they got a pissed-off Kentucky team coming in. So this ought to be interesting. This might be a really, really good spot, Ross. Arkansas plus nine. Now the second game, another one that has a, a, a line that I think is a little high. These teams have played each other tight years past. Creighton going to Nova, okay? They're getting 12 points. Um, they're 5-2 and two against the spread on the road, Creighton is, so that doesn't scare them going on the road. And Nova going through a little question marks the last couple games. Will they figure it out? Yeah. Can they cover 12? That's a large number. Ross, if you will, break it down. Creighton getting 12 at Villanova. What do you like about this one? Well, it's all about the situation here, Mike. You know, you're looking at a Villanova team. They've won six of their last seven. Uh, they're one of the top teams in the country, one of the favorites to get to the Final Four this year, and all rightfully so. However, um, they've failed to cover in each of their last seven games. Now, having, this, having said that, even taking this a step further, up next for Villanova is number 10 Providence. And that's a Providence team that just 10 days ago knocked off the Wildcats on their home floor for their only home loss of the season. So they got a revenge factor coming up next, and they're going to be facing a Creighton team tonight that they already defeated by 14 on the road in early January. And in that game, Mike, I got to bring it to the viewers' attention. They won by 14. They shot the ball 68% from the field in that game. And how about this? They were 28 for 32 on their two-point attempts in that contest. That's just outrageous shooting. I don't foresee that happening again or anything close to that happening again. So that, that number, that 14-point win, in my opinion, was a little bit askew. Creighton coming off back-to-back -back disappointing losses, the meltdown against Georgetown. Their last game, they get knocked off at home by Seton Hall by 10. They'll be out for atonement tonight and have revenge in this situation. I think they're catching Villanova 
in the right spot here, and I think they could keep this game competitive right throughout. I'm going to take the points here with the Creighton Blue Jays, plus 12 at Villanova. Russ, I like the way you break it down. I mean that, my friend. And bringing that to light is huge because there's just absolutely no way Nova can duplicate what they did uh, a month ago when they had that big win. 68%, 28 for 32. Are you kidding me? God, that is absolutely classic. Can that happen again? There's just no way. And like you said, they may be overlooking this team a little bit. They may be a little overconfident because of that win. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to bring to the light as well, um, not only is Villanova looking to Providence, okay, and Providence has a revenge factor. Providence also was coming off a loss last night against a lousy uh, DePaul team that, that manhandled them literally from start to finish. So now Nova's going to have to have that in the back of their mind. Providence is really, really going to be fired up for this game. So you might be on to something there, and I've got no reason to dispute you. You're 12-7-1. We like to keep our viewers aware of what our handicappers' records are, hold them accountable. That's five units up. That's profitable, and that's respectable, Ross, and I really enjoy doing these videos with you. You heard it, viewers. Creighton Blue Jays getting 12 tonight against Nova. Arkansas getting 9 against Florida. Ross Benjamin likes this to cash the ticket in the under, underdog category tonight, so don't miss it. Ross, thanks so much for being back with us, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow, my friend. Good luck tonight, and beat that book. Always a pleasure, Mike. Thank you.